Welcome. Uh, we're now going to have a look at some commercially made transformers. Um, the one that you see in front of you at the moment, this is not a commercially tra made transformer, it's just a demonstration model that I use. Um, just to remind ourselves what a transformer actually is. It is a primary coil um, close by a secondary coil and the flux in the primary coil induces um, EMF in the secondary coil. The problem with, uh, with a transformer is that the flux from the primary coil doesn't always go all the way to the secondary coil, a lot of it is lost. So to encourage um, flux from the primary coil to get its way to the secondary coil, we um, wrap it around a soft iron core like the one we've got here. Um, this increases the amount of flux linkage between the primary and the secondary coil, but unfortunately it has a downside. And that is that inside the soft iron core, um, we now induce EMF in the form of eddy currents. And those eddy currents um, induce, um, because they are um, current in the presence of resistance, because the soft iron core does have some slight resistance, then we will have voltage drop. We would have a form of um, energy transformation. And in this case, it's mostly, it is transformed into heat. And that heat is lost. And that means that energy, uh, the power of the primary coil, the energy of the primary coil is not making its way all the way into the secondary coil as a percentage of it is being lost in heat. So how can we get the eddy currents to be um, uh, reduced? And the way we do this is by taking this core, um, core here and laminating it. Now we can chop the iron core in a few ways. We can do it sideways or we can ch um, chop it vertically. And it's the vertical one, which is the more, um, which is the way that we go. So let's have a look at some commercially made ones. So let's just take um, one here. Put it away. This is just a transformer um, that comes from a, I think it's a TV, this one, an old fashioned cathode ray TV. And here is the primary coil and the secondary coil. Notice they're as close as they possibly can to each other. And they're wrapped around um, with, um, together with a soft iron core. And this iron core is in, um, encouraging the flux from the primary coil to make its way into the secondary coil. Now the flux from the primary coil in this direction will make its way through directly. But the one that the flux coming out of the bottom of the coil would just be lost out to this part of the, um, to the air, out to the, into space. So this part of the coil, um, the core is making, encouraging it to go in this direction. The problem with this, of course, is this flat iron core is going to heat up with eddy currents. So the way we are going to do it is we um, are going to slice it into really, really thin slices. So zooming in now, I apologize for, um, let's, let's see if we can get rid of the tilt. Yeah, I'll tilt it in. We can see there that the core is sliced very, very thinly in lots and lots of layers. And between each of these lots of layers is a insulating glue so it's stuck back together. I'll just tilt sideways. Maybe we can see it better on its side. Um, here we have it again. We can see that all the actual core is being composed of. Um, it wasn't actually sliced like this. It was actually formed like this. So what they would have done would have been using flat sheets of iron uh, and then stuck it together to build up the core. Um, as a result, let's turn it to the top. The actual... Um, coil is below us and the magnetic field is coming up through these this way. So the magnetic field will induce eddy currents in a circular way around this um, field line. The maximum size of the eddy current will be as, um, as wide as one of these very, very thin slices. Looking at another over here, this is a much larger, uh, let's zoom out again. This is a much larger transformer from, um, uh, from a microwave oven this time. And we can see, let's turn it sideways, the two large coils of the primary and the secondary coil um, hidden away here. Let's see if I can 
go this direction over here. We can now see the primary coil here. And the secondary coil, which is, because this is a step up transformer, there's many more um, uh, loops in the secondary coil over here than in the primary coil. Um, and it's really, really thin wire, as you can see in there, you may not be able to thin it, but there's hundreds more times loops than this one. Um, and once again, the way that they've, uh, the engineers have designed this is to put the two coils directly on top of each other. So the flux from one end of the coil will move directly up into the second coil. Unfortunately, the flux lines would also be lost on the bottom part down here. So to encourage the flux linkage from the top all the way around and into the bottom, we wrap it with a soft iron core. Once again, soft iron has a resistance. Um, resistance means heating and would be energy loss. So to make this more efficient, more ideal, we are going to slice this thing um, and with this uh, lighting here you can actually see the slicing really well okay now once again it's not a, uh, an iron block that has been sliced it is a iron block that is made up of slices so we would have created this as a, a series of very thin um, slices of uh, pieces of iron laminates of iron and then stuck it together to form this shape okay and between each of these um, very very thin slices is um, insulating glue turn it sideways we might be able to see more it's not as good that side i'll try the other side here see if we can see much more I'll zoom in okay no we're not getting as good a view as the one on the front so I might turn it back to the top again, see if we can see as we can. Yeah, we, we're seeing better slices than the first one I had. Okay. But anyway, so this is um, one of the methods to reduce um, heating in transformers due to eddy currents. Once again, eddy currents are formed by a changing magnetic field in a extended or a flat conductor. And as a result, the eddy currents will produce themselves um, a um, um, heat because of um, the presence of resistance in this core. Okay. And our job is to reduce them in this case. And yeah, thanks very much.